again. Uh, it's Joey John McGuire. I'm in the Willow Walk. Uh, first time in a long time. It's an old uh, Weatherspoons watering hole of mine uh, in Victoria. That's London, United Kingdom. I'm about to recite one of two poems uh, that I wrote as per usual in the early hours of this morning. I'm rushing slightly because I have a meeting with two very famous footballers. Uh, one goes by the name of Aaron Hudson, uh, who I know quite well now. And uh, for the first time I'll be meeting uh, Tom Baldwin. How about that one, eh? Um, anyway, back to the poem. It's called After the Rain, the Sun. Her eyes told me so many things. Least of all, that even she was struggling to understand the other side of me. Padlocked behind a heavy door, it was a surprise to her, something she was witnessing for the very first time. She had little glimpses in the past, muffled leaps of warning, but never the full lights flashing, red alert, red alert, red alert. I'd never revealed to her the full-on other side of my trauma, the desperate excuse for sadness that lay just underneath the veneered layer of my hidden heartache. Someone had pressed the buttons. How is it they know which are the ones to press? But nobody threatens Maguire with violence. The world and Giselle were about to find that out. Inside my wonderful normal self, there was born a rage, a nagging volcano of fury on the verge and threatening to erupt. It was a red mist blocking my normally perfect 2020 vision. Out goes the reasoning, here comes the pain. The full horrors of my past were oozing from my every pore, gushing like a lava flow right before her eyes. I knew she meant well, but my adrenaline mix was in full defense mode. Time would be the only thing to heal the tremors of this yet another earthquake. I worked out long ago as a child that I may well be ahead of my time. The world was a hotbed of ignorance, far too dim to ever understand the likes of me. I give Giselle her due, she stood with me as I faced the horrors of adversity held my hand through my moments of crisis where others would have chosen to run. Two days now and there's been no respite. I have been sleepless and thus ruminating over the nagging thoughts of justice and how the other side of me craves revenge. I have nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Too old and too weary to embark on another long crusade. And I am not too old to cry. After the storm, there is always the sun. After the bloody anger, for me, there are always the tears. Someone tried to assault me with a walking stick the other day. And uh, being as my past is littered with tragedy, and I have been assaulted really badly in terms of murder in the past, uh, things like that have a dramatic effect on me. Thank you.